Yep. There we go. Okay, so I checked my, I've been busy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I popped in my uh, YouTube and saw that I had 666 subscribers, thank you guys, every 666 of you guys, but I figured I might make a new video and bump this up, get across that threshold. So what we're going on today is we're going to build some flanges, like this, outside in the Morisiki. Follow along. First thing we're gonna do is make sure our material is right, and it is. It is one foot and a half inch on the diameter. The plate is inch and a half thick. And if I uh, fired the Mori up, it's gonna be a little quick video here. Fired the Mori up, I looked at my programs and the last time I ran it, I have a Z minus of uh, right there an inch 100 so wrong program step over here we've already turned the mori on the, ch the air dryer is on tool number five is in there the we might want to look at that insert oh, look at that right there all right probably replace that looks a little bit a little bit bad today um, I know since the depth is 1.5 I pulled this up in the old office and I'll show you what I gotta do let's get this up here all I have to do is go over here to the edit and It's gonna show my depth right here, 1.5. So I need that at 1.6, because you go through the part just a little bit. Finish. Actually, I should have pushed compute, but here we go. Compute, boom. Now I'm gonna post. There it is right there. Shoot it up, take a look at it. Come on, baby. Ooh. 
go right over there. I know it's good. I'm gonna save this to my old pinky here and shoot it in the machine. Uh, what I do on these parts is they go onto a fixture. I use a spud in the middle. It is actually on the machine. So I'm gonna change this center spud here. I'm gonna get my magnet zip over there and use my magnet to right there and we're gonna go from there we're uh, I don't know I just got to bump over that 666 subscribers do you know anybody turn them on to my uh, videos Maybe we can get up to 700. Who knows? Maybe get a good a good day. I'll be back. Get some setting up done, and I'll be back here in just a minute. Okay, real quick, I just punched that program over to my DNCer, and uh, so now I got it on a, a blue, the blue one, not the pink one. So I'm gonna go get the other one and zip it in here. If excuse the mess, it just happens that way. But I'm gonna delete, delete 06009, delete. Don't need that one because I'm gonna move the new one in its place. Pause. You guys know what it's time for. It's time for some B-roll. Okay, it's come time to change those uh, those inserts out. Those um, the high feed cutter. What it is is it's a it is an Iscar FF EW D 1.00-3-3.0 W 1.00-05, and that tells you it uses the five millimeter insert. It's one inch diameter, and it has three inch projection on it. So this is one of those those high feed cutters that um, basically it just cuts in a vertical. So let me show you the inserts here. They're the tangentially mounted double sided double sided trigon tangentially mounted uh, inserts in a gray. They're the WXCU05T312Ts in an IC808. And uh, recommended surface footage is 270 to 890, and I run them about 725, and that equates to 3,050 RPM and 100 inches a minute. But always like subscribe and follow if you can get me off this 6666 thing we got going on it's weird just weird Boop. so anyways okay got the cutter inserts changed you saw me load the program uh set up the clamps on the part because we're going to be going in a swirly fashion i don't want it moving uh, I just, you don't drill an inch. We're going an inch and three quarters, inch 760. So, here we go. Do the thing. Go press down the cool changer. This should go. Do up. I'm going to uh, put you guys over there into some B-roll. 
and you can watch this thing cut the hole, inch and three quarters. Okay, so I got you set back over here in the doorway. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to come down here and start milling in a circular interpolation. It sets, it steps down each pass about 50 thousandths, and it's, so it's going to go in circular. I'm not going to go to B-roll. I'm just going to let you see what this does in real time here. Uh, let's zoom you in a little bit. Is this, whoop, the other way. Jumper, this should show, this should show something pretty good. It's, 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 woo, here we go. Should have been some good footage. Well, hey, I think I'm going to include that in there because sometimes that happens. Uh, there was a 200,000 Z offset that I had thrown in G54. So that was what you see. Saw this thing wow, digging in a little bit, making making sparky sparks. So I'm going to reset this up. We're going to go back in that hole. It's really we're going to try this again here, folks. But I think I might even include that in the thing but I'm gonna load the cutter try it again I'm gonna load the cutter zip you in there brown okay I get all my uh, jets ready and, and all centered but hang on with the milling and at this point we want to check it we're gonna throw a little throw a little scale on there and go yep and then go yep check you can see it's bolt holes and um, ah, you can't wait there's a little bit of it's almost a drilled finish but it's a spiro milled finish but that's what we're working with I'm gonna grab the uh, grab the magnet Switch that one out, do a double check. Oh, I forgot. This program has a, I come down with a mill cutter and I uh, uh, fortify this edge here before I pull it out. So I'm going to do that. One more tool set up, make sure there's not a down offset in that tool. Uh, be back here in a second. So I had forgotten that I'd chamfer these. So here we go. We're going to chamfer these real quick. That's it, folks. That's a one part. Uh, I hand chamfer the back sides of these over on the bench with a, with a half inch drill. But that's how I do these little flanges. So on to the next one.
So really the last step, I, you could do it with a hand drill, but it's just easier to use the, uh, the old radial arm drill over here. But it's the chamfer that back side, and then they go on a pallet and out the door. I've got six of them already. Uh, I got six in the order. Three of them are already done. By the time I get to farting around and getting them running, so, uh, three of them are already done. So I'll be done with this here in probably another half hour, 45 minutes, and we'll move on to the next one. Remember to subscribe. Get me off of this six, three sixes. Uh, not that I'm uh, superstitious, but I'm superstitious. Help me out. Help a, fe help a fella out. Because we're hurting here. What I've got today is, uh, look at that, I'm all yoked up. Mm. Oh, what I got today is just do some work. We're gonna do work. That's what we're gonna do. Follow along while some work gets done. All right, hey, I ain't made a video in a while, so I thought I'd put one up. But y'all know I'm still alive. Uh, the lives and kickings happening. So hey, whoa, we're still here. Oh, it's been 